Hello guys, welcome back to Human Resource Machine level 14. This one's a bit of a brain bender and it gets very complicated very quickly. I will try to explain it as best I can, but it's taken me so long to figure it out that my brain is a little bit pickled. Right, first thing we always need to do is grab one of the tiles from the inbox. Very first thing, it always starts the same way. Now, what we're supposed to do, grab two things from the inbox and put only the bigger of the two in the outbox. If they're equal, just pick either one. You've got a new command, jumps only if the thing you're holding is negative, less than zero, otherwise continues to the next line. Right, so what we've got to do here, we've got to compare two numbers at a time and put the bigger of the two in the outbox. Whenever we need to compare something, we have to copy it to these spare tiles on the floor. So we're going to copy the first number to zero. We'll then go back to the inbox and we will copy the second number there. That's going to let us compare. Now, because we can't actually use a compare command, because it doesn't exist, we're going to have to get a little bit creative. The way I've figured out to do this is if we subtract the first number we put down. Okay, now it's going to get confusing. Try and stay with me. If it's a negative number, so if it's a minus, we're going to move down. Okay. If it isn't, we will copy from 1 and send that to the outbox because 1 must have been the bigger number. If that's a negative, oh hold on, sorry I forgot, that's one run and one check. So obviously we need to jump back to the top to make that check again. If it's a negative, then we need to copy from 0 because 0 will have been the bigger number. Send that to the outbox and then of course a jump will take us all the way back up and repeat. All that jumps are used for is creating a loop. So after you've done a check and you want to go back and check again from the start, you put a jump in and it makes a loop. So what we've done, we've gone to the inbox, copied the first number and put it on the floor, gone back to the inbox, copied the second number and put it next to it on the floor. We've minus the first number we put down from the second number. Now, if it was a negative, if the result was a negative number, then we jump right the way down, copy the first number, and put it to the outbox because the first number was the bigger one. If, however, it wasn't a negative, then it means the number one slot was the bigger number, and we're going to send that straight to the outbox. Let's just run this in super speed and make sure I've done it correctly because it was a little bit complicated. That's it. I will attempt a better explanation on the next one. Thank you guys.